Liverpool probably a slightly a nervier finish than you would have liked, but a win. Yeah, uh, against a really good uh, Burton team. Dino's got them well organised and hard to break down. And we warned the lads of you know second phases and throw-ins and set pieces and all that. And we sort of give them a chance first half from our uh, our own ineptitude, really a mistake. Um, but apart from that, I thought we controlled the game really well. I thought we had you know majority of the ball, created a lot of chances. The two tens caused problems. Didzy was. Uh, as, as always, sort of unplayable at times, and everyone contributed well. I thought Birdie and Connor gave us a real balance, and we kept trying to play forward and ask questions. It was just about I said to the lads at half time, like, I was really pleased with the first half. It was just about the goal. And don't panic if it's not in the first five or ten minutes. Just keep playing, and chances will come. And the longer the game went on, the more chances we created. Um, and in the end, we we um, come away with a win on a penalty. But I don't think many people could have left the ground today and not thought we would deserve the win. So. Yeah, really pleased. A lot of good things. No injuries, you know. A bit of a break now before the next home game. The place was bouncing. It felt like it felt like a playoff game at times. I thought the atmosphere in the stadium was really good, and you know, it ended up, in my opinion, a really good performance from the boys. Are you able to watch the penalty, or do you have to look away when, when Dizzy steps up? No, I'm all right watching the penalty. Although I, I, I did. It's amazing what goes through your head as a manager. I was thinking, oh, I remember when. You know, it was only last week when Arteta stood there and watched his you know, player miss the target. And I don't know, because well, I was watching Arsenal last night, possibly. I think, oh, please go in, please go in. And you, you get a bit wishy. So, um, yeah, so it's good. Uh, I, like I said, I, I thought our play deserved a lot more. And uh, we, we were always so close. But what I, pleased me as much as our on-the-ball stuff was, you know, when we had to roll our sleeves up and defend, throw in set pieces, you know, I thought the lads were pretty good and limited them to like one header over the bar from seven yards out second half. So, yeah, generally speaking, I thought the lads, well, not generally speaking, the lads were excellent. So I'm really, really proud of them. Some really great moments of, of attacking play today and there seems to be some real chemistry between the front three in particular. Is that something that you've you've spotted and, and worked on? Well, we're just trying to ask defenders different questions and with the tens who are both really good footballers, it, it does it's difficult being. A di I mean, we've played against teams with two tens. It is awkward, and we just needed to find something different to give ourselves a chance. And you know, it's no disrespect to other players who aren't playing, but it just felt like it would work. We wanted to try and get Sibs a bit higher up the pitch, um, and obviously with Nat, we give him less defensive responsibilities. Although I think he's covered his greatest distance today. It seemed like so. All in all, yeah, good. But you need the players to give the ball uh, to the two tens, and it was Cash and Fars and. And Kurt is passing through the lines, which enable us to get at them. So um, really good. And the thing was, it felt like we every time we counter-attacked, it was a problem for them, truth be told. However, when they get everyone behind the ball, any team's difficult to break down. So it's just about trying to move the ball quick and being positive. And you know, if you lose it in the final third, so be it. But yeah, I can go home tonight really pleased. Um, and the league table looks a bit nicer for us. You mentioned it. You're back in the top six. It's back in your hands. How important is that? Well, very important. I, you know, I saw the score at half time. I won't pretend I didn't. And I'm, I'm thinking, look, you know, even if we draw this, it's a point. If you know Peterborough don't pick up Max, and even if they lose, we're a point close, or that feels like a wasted opportunity. But I can't ask any more. We can only drive performances, whether the ball goes in the net or not. I, you can't. You can't always um, tell. So the fact you get a win and the people you're chasing, you know, one of them hasn't won it. You know, but it's about the next game straight away. So as you know me quite well, I'll have about three minutes enjoying it, and then I'll start um, watching Pompey and um, and seeing what we're going to do there. So yeah, really good day. Been kind with the results, but it's just going to be up and down between now and then. Portsmouth at home, Sheffield Wednesday away isn't exactly the easiest of ends to a season. But if you're going to be successful, you have to beat these teams. And if we don't, then there's no point being in the playoffs because we won't be good enough to beat anyone in the playoffs. So it's about you know giving the lads a bit of downtime and then going again. It's all done today. Thanks, mate. Thank you.